What's up guys, it's Max Wool back with the next episode of my Let's Max Tunnel 10 series and uh, today our Archer Queen finished her upgrade up to level 34 actually she finished yesterday I did not upgrade her overnight, I actually waited for two reasons, for one because uh, I did my war attacks last night with her and for two because um, she was getting a little bit too close to the king again so you can see I've been waiting about 12 hours now since her upgrade finished and uh, she's now um, three days, 21 hours away from the king upgrade. So, um, yeah, she was getting closer because the, for the last king upgrade, I also used him in war when he finished up. So I had a couple of hours before I could upgrade the king again, or before I chose to upgrade him again. So that's why those upgrade times got closer together. So now I had to wait a bit on the queen as well, just to have that still in sync and not put too much pressure on me for the farming. Yeah, the first expo is still building, as you can see. Um, and obviously we are gonna want to upgrade our queen today up to the next level, so uh, why not start the video off with that 165,000 Dark Elixir, and she's going to level 35, so after that only 5 levels left on the queen before we have, will her, we'll have her maxed out uh, all the way to level 40, so uh, certainly good to get another level out of the way. As you can see I have Lava Looney in my camps, couple of Lava Hounds flapping around here. Um, actually been doing a bit of uh, Lava Looney because I've been in need of elixir. As you can see my uh, laboratory is finishing up today as well so this is gonna be in this video probably as well. Uh, the free spell is going to level 2 and I want to start my um, dragons up to max after that because those are very important for raiding Town Hall 11's in war. Um, yeah but that's gonna be the end of the video today so um, in the meantime let's check out a couple of attacks which I didn't then maybe also a couple of war attacks because those were pretty good this time as well so yeah, let's start off with a couple of farming attacks. Alright, so I'd actually like to show you guys this one right here, and um, because this is how I also use uh, Mass Miner. So some of you may think that I always only go for 3 stars with this and try to kill the whole base, but sometimes it's also cool to only use a couple of miners on those Dark Elixir drills and then uh, piece out of the base. Actually, I usually I would have sniped off of this elixir, of course, as well, but I had to disconnect for this one, um, so that's why um, <laughs> yeah, I did not manage to place the rest of my troops. Just those funneling miners that I dropped uh, right there in the left corner were uh, all that uh, I could place down before I disconnected. So, yeah, but this is still an okay rate, 3,800 dark elixir. Um, although I didn't get anything else out of this one and sometimes I'm even only sniping with the miners so uh, whenever I find a dead base with the drills outside I'll only drop like five miners and move on to the next one so that's possible as well and then of course there's raids like this where I drop all my troops um, a little bit more difficult because a couple of those drills are towards the inside of the wall and then you obviously always have to negotiate the enemy heroes like you can see the queen is pretty close to this drill right here and then at the bottom um, this drill right here is defended by a couple of defenses so what you do is you just, just go a little bit heavier with the minor deployment close to those buildings and then it should be pretty easy to still grab those drills so um, yeah maybe a little bit more insight on the mass minor rating don't want to bore you too much with that but uh, in this case it worked out very nicely again um, for uh, yeah the full league bonus almost with 70% as well you will notice that I have dropped back down to Crystal one that was intentional, but it's not the end of the world either. And then this raid right here that I just had was pretty cool as well. Lava Lunion for this one. Decided to start off with a couple of balloons to just snipe off this loot right here because I meant to start my uh, main attack uh, from the top over here. So that's why I started sniping right here at the bottom. And then uh, once that is all going, I will uh, start my Lava Loon up here. So. Um, Actually, a couple more balloons right there, yes, okay. And then we will space out the two Lava Hounds, get the balloons rolling in behind nice and spare me the minions behind after that. Three remaining haste spells going down, a rage spell right at the core for those balloons on top of that enemy queen. They are gonna, the Lava Pups are gonna get her out of the way. And then I drop my, clean, my queen just to clean up along with the balloons. And actually now, right at this point, I disconnected, so uh, you will notice that I did not use the queen ability and she died also, but... Wasn't too bad because this raid just happened uh, just prior to uh, me starting the recording of this video. So you guys saw that I um, started my queen right away. So it wasn't that bad that she was dead. But this raid right here, it was pretty cool because over 400,000 resources of each and over 3,000 Dark Elixir as well. 
And then, as I said, I had a couple of cool raids last war, and this squad performed really nice as well. So, let's go ahead and check that out. Go to the last war, you will see that we were able to come away with the victory 87 to 77, so 1 by 10 stars. Left a pretty clean map, missed out on a star on each of the top three bases, but the other ones we were able to get out of the way. So, I hit this base right here, number 4. Um, I actually had my queen for this one, as I already told you guys, so that certainly made it a lot nicer to attack. So starting off with the funnel with just one minion and one wizard, so a little bit of a base design flaw on this one. I'd used the giant just to tank for those wall breakers, crack the wall open because I wanted to go the golem to go straight into tank for my bowlers and the queen. So those guys are coming in behind, a rage spell is going to help them out to just uh, to totally destroy this um, compartment right here. Then I have a poison spell for the enemy clan castle. Actually the archers are gonna go sort of crooked uh, up towards the left which was not the plan but the golem peeled off to that side so a little bit unlucky but my bowlers were able to bowl over that inferno tower which was nice and got some really nice value out of the kill squad. Got all the defense that I wanted out of the way. Just sent in one balloon right there for that bomb tower that was left standing just for pathing purposes. And then I had three lava hounds and a bunch of balloons too. Kill the rest of the defenses, obviously the expo set to ground, sort of uh, free loot to go in with Lava Lunia in this base. There goes the second Lava Hound, free spell down on air defense and Inferno Tower. Rage spell for the balloons in the core. Yeah, my free spell is only level 1 for this attack, but uh, still was able to make it work. A little late on the last Lava Hound, but it's gonna go on uh, towards that next air defense and tank that for me. And then I have a couple of haste spells left to speed the balloons through for the rest of this attack. Actually sort of lacking cleanup for this one, could have saved a couple of balloons for that, but yeah. In the end didn't matter because at this point I had about one and a half minutes left, so plenty enough time to get this done. And yeah, pretty cool 3 star on the end on this Town Hall 10 right here with two multi infernos, but all the expos set to ground and uh, base design probably not the best either, so relatively easy even only with the queen and no king for this one, so yeah. Able to wrap up the 3 star on this one, and then I actually hit a Town Hall uh, 11 as well. So let's go ahead and check that out. Um, that was the number 1 base which I got 2 start for the team, so um, I knew there was a Lava Hound in the clan castle. So um, I started off with sniping percentages, 3 balloons for this uh, wizard tower right here, a bunch of minions for those free buildings to get those out of the way. And then I suicided my queen because, uh, as I said, I knew there was a lava hound in the clan castle because this uh, base had been attacked previously. Uh, so I didn't want the queen to lock onto the lava hound because obviously she would most likely kill it. And then um, the lava pops could be a problem for my Valkyries. So I decided to suicide the queen uh, and that just take out a couple of buildings for her. I created one half of the funnel for her with, um, yeah, just uh, using one giant to tank for her and then just suiciding her on those buildings right there. So. Got three or four buildings out of the way and that is really all that I needed. Warbreakers going down in front of the golem then. Actually, Warbreaker fail right there. But the Valkyries are going to be able to shred through the wall with no problem. Early rage spell is going to help them out to get through that initial wall right there. There You can see the Lava on coming out. So, um, yeah, nothing to worry about for the Valkyries. Earthquake spell went down in the middle to soften everything up. Jump spell, heal spell, healing into the core. And then I have two more rage spells to rage the entire core so they can... Um, just take out the town hall like it was nothing at the inferno towers and the eagle artillery and then I actually have a couple of troops left for sniping percentages but there's not many free buildings so and the lava hound is gonna mess up my archer so um, yeah ending up on 61% right here but still a pretty solid attack getting the number one base two start is obviously always good so yeah got that done as well so pretty nice war and also pretty nice performance from the team Although we had that new Town Hall 11 that joined us for this war, leave very early, that was a little bit unfortunate, but still got it done with a commanding victory. And yeah, that's gonna do it for now. I'm gonna be back with the um, laboratory upgrade, as I already told you guys, and um, that's gonna wrap it up for the video then, so I'll be right back with that. Alright guys, we are back and ready to record the end of this episode, so as you can see the laboratory has been finishing up, um, however the dragon is 7 million to upgrade, um, 7 million elixir that is, so we are gonna have to collect our treasury now and get the loot in there out of it, luckily the treasury is pretty full, so let's go ahead and collect that, yes we do wanna transfer that, and then we are, we have enough to 
start those dragons up to level 5 which is of course the max for tunnel 10 so another troop maxed out right here we've been doing quite a bit of raiding as you can see we are at 132,000 dark elixir now so uh, been doing some real work today the one gem boost is uh, in effect and I didn't really have anything to do today so I was pretty much boosting all day long uh, farmed quite a few walls actually let's take a look at those walls because I'm re doing really well on those right now so as you can see we have 204 walls at level 10 and uh, 20 um, two walls at level 11 so uh, a, a total of 226 uh, walls that are already at level 10 and 11 which is of course my goal and not very many left as you can see to get up to standard so that's looking really good as well and i'm gonna hop back to our main screen right here and then we are gonna do yeah maybe why not do another wall um let's go here and upgrade this one and then we have 1.6 million so Obviously that's not enough to do the next wall, but we are not going to dump that into another one. I'm just going to wait because I'm definitely going to raid a little bit more in a bit. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Pretty cool one again, and I hope you enjoyed. Until the next one, I will see you all later. Peace out.